Hello. <laughs> Can't quite get uh, in the way there, but um, I'm just about to go through a tunnel. I'm on the move, um, so I've moved a little bit since the last time I saw you on the, on the live streams that I've been doing. This is a map of the Chesterfield. Let's come round so I can show you. Um, let's turn my monitor down. Right, signal looks pretty good at the moment, but I think it's about to... This can either last for an hour or so, or just a few minutes. Here is where we are on this little map I've been given by the Chesterfield Canal uh, Society. We've been brilliant, really welcoming and um, supportive. Um, so I've come round here, and here I am at Drake Holes. There's a real sharp turn in, check that out. Some photos, more ins here, 48 hours. But then there's, I know in winter it's two, I, I didn't mention that yesterday. It's changed in November to two weeks. But anyway, going for a little, tiny little tunnel there, not very long. And we're in a cutting, so this could end the live stream right here, but we'll give it a go. Let's see what happens. Apologies for any of the change in quality of the image, of the way it's shaking. I think it doesn't help that, uh, well, I'm going to have to move it, I think, because I can see it's really shaking about. Try a little bit further forward. Hope that's a bit better. Right, let's go back to these fishermen. Hello, you're right. <laughs> How are you doing? All right. <laughs> you are. No, you go ahead. Carry on. Enjoy the day. <laughs> I'll take this tight corner. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah. <laughs> Right then, this is going to be embarrassing if I get this wrong. Let's put my tunnel light on. You won't see that happening, but put that on ready. Even though it's quite a short tunnel, do it anyway. Right, here we go. It's actually easier, I think, for boats like mine coming this way than it is for ones coming out of the out of the tunnel. <laughs> A little beep. One for right, two for left. And here we go into Drake Holes Tunnel. This could be the end of the live stream, or it could be YouTube Gold. We'll find out. <laughs> Tunnel, very popular with bats and nesting birds. I'm not sure we'll see any today because it's the middle of middle of the day. At 1 p.m. UK time. This uh, tunnel is beneath a road, I think. Yeah, road and some houses as well. It's quite shallow and we'll run up to it. So it'd be quite slow going through. Right, here goes. Hopefully, if I don't see you throughout the tunnel, I'll uh, see you on the other side. Either it'll reconnect, or I'd just have to start up a new stream. Let's crank it. But he's already going on the on the video stream. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Never mind. It's all experimental.
Right, check that out. Just been through a tunnel, live. Is that a world first? I want someone to, uh, to tell me. <laughs> Again, apologies, apologies if it seems out of focus, it's just this bad signal. Unbelievable. How did we make it through that tunnel without completely losing the live stream? I don't know. Just going underneath a busy main road. The A631, if you're interested. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, as a uh, owl wobbly boater, the moderator says, smash that like button, guys. Come on. Thanks again for, to Al. Yeah, I can see them up, but um, yeah, a lot of the time I can. Plus, if you're watching this back, hello, hello to you. Um, you probably don't want me to respond to all the comments whilst you're watching. So anyway. Weather's so much nicer today. I was up about, well, I set off at 8, 8 a.m. Um, and just, yeah, went for a few miles of the canal past the, oh, past the um, boat club, work, Worksop and Retford, or Retford and Worksop Boat Club at Clayworth. Big shout out to those guys, lovely people. Uh, and what else did I pass? Yeah, some lovely looking bridges, and that's, that's all you've missed, really. <laughs> so you've not missed too much. Yeah, so the picture, if you can't see it very clearly, because on my little monitor that I've got with me, it does not look good. <laughs> um, just to describe in the audio what's happening, I'm just going along the canal, and just been through a cutting, that's where they basically plough through the land when they build the canals. It's a bit more of a direct route, but it does take a lot more work. And we've been through a tunnel successfully, right at the start of the video. And um, heading on now towards the next lock. So we'll get to do a lock in a bit, which is always, always exciting. About in a, mi a miles, in a mile, which will take, I don't know, what we're travelling, two miles an hour. So, you know, we'll be there in a bit, don't worry. Yeah, it's just nice to just chill out in it and uh, take in the sounds and the scenery as you go past. Some trees covered in ivy and we've got some of that stuck around my propeller yesterday. That's pretty harsh actually, that did, did not want to come off. Question from uh, Jane, how was the stew from yesterday? Well, it was lovely actually. It could have done with a bit more flavour. I didn't put any, um, oh, what's the stuff? There was no yeast extract. There was nothing in the form of a stock. And I uh, could have done with some more, um, what's it called? Uh, Henderson's relish, I do like that stuff. And uh, and um, yeah, salt and pepper. But apart from that, yeah, it's, it's fine. Uh, seven out of ten. <laughs> yeah, I thought I could have used Marmite. To, uh, thanks for that, Jane. Lovely views opening up now. I'll just hold you up so you can see. Look at that. Woo! Gorgeous. But now I have to return you to your position facing forward because I will crash otherwise. <laughs> there we go. Ugh. Just 
lovely colours in the sky. And white clouds, obviously, and then you know, bright blue. That's what we want to see. Tomorrow's looking good as well. I'm trying to get on that tidal trend tomorrow. Headed up upstream. That's um, heading south on the map. But um, yeah, we'll see. I've just started to um, double check with the lock keepers to see what the tidal times are likely to be for me. I'd love to stream it as well if I can, which may mean leaving a bit later. I might have to leave uh, until like 2 or 3 instead of just 1 pm. But I'll let you know tomorrow. So if you tune in tomorrow, that's uh, Friday, the, what is it, 4th of uh, November? You might see us live stream at 1pm, you might see it at 3, I don't know. But I'll try and give you lots of warning. Some lovely rolling hills on the right hand side. And you probably can't make it out, but there's berries in the trees red berries uh, and the leaves, yeah, they're pretty much all fallen, the colourful ones have. They're still looking good. Plenty of weed in the canal, but I think we're making the best of the water that's been added since it rained recently. I just want to take a moment now to thank everyone for all their you know, comments. So if you've left a comment on, this, on this, these live streams, which are in, in no way is any close to, um, <laughs> anywhere close to what I normally do, very experimental um, and not always good quality in terms of video, thank you so much for your positive comments. And a massive shout out to all the Patreons, all the Crankit crew members, most of which you can't watch it while, while, it's, while this is live, but thank you so much for supporting me anyway. Especially when I'm not able to bring out my um, vlogs so much. So right now I'm in the middle of filming Canal Boat Diaries Series 4, and the plan at the moment is just to move to the next filming location and we'll start the next episode, which will be uh, episode three of series four. I'm hoping the quality of the stream will improve as we move along. But for now, I'll just uh, leave you with some sounds. Sort of like ASMR. Mm, ASMR. Mm, mm. No. <laughs> I won't do that ever again, I promise.
it up a little bit there and it's really made the camera wobble all over the place. Apologies for that. I've worked out why that's happening. Because um, normally I've got my stabilisation running on the Apple camera that I normally film on. And this is the same one I'm using to live stream right now. My iPhone 13 Pro. And um, yeah. It's just not as good. The live stream video just doesn't have stabilisation built in, I think. So it's picking up those normally imperceptible, is that the right word? Um, tremors that are created by the engine rumbling away. That's something like 126 BPM, I think I worked out yesterday, but I could be wrong. <laughs> I've got a little app now where I can work out what BPM it is. Three quarters of a mile, about that, and then we're at the next lock. Until then, I'll just uh, have to shut up. Unless you've got a question. Good question there, just come in. What's the, what are the towpaths like? Well, they are sometimes good, sometimes very bad. <laughs> right now I'm seeing on the left that we've got one of those annoying bike tracks, you know, where the bikes just wear out um, a really uh, thin strip on the towpath, which makes it hard to walk on. But you know, because everyone's got to share the share the space, guys. Something you can really do about that, is it? Just want to get a um, what's it out? A steamroller. <laughs> Let's see that. Another question that's come in: Is Henderson's sauce, or it's called Henderson's relish, like Worcester sauce? Yeah, I suppose so. You could, yeah, use it the same, similar way, I think. I think Hendo's definitely not as well known. Uh, mostly, I think, because it's stopped uh, in the north. So not you don't find it in the south or much at all in the Midlands either. Sometimes you do. Question has just come in. Do you ever come? Did you ever come across any vloggers on the car? I did once upon a time, but at the moment I haven't. I haven't seen any other vloggers for about a year or so. I think. I can't remember the last time I saw. Maybe it was Minimal List. I've obviously seen quite a few of them at Crick Boat Show. That was in the summer. But yeah, I've not seen any out and about on the cut. Another question here from Craig. Do random people shout crank it at you in the shops? Thankfully they don't. Or, you know, actually it could be worse, couldn't it? They could shout something else. But uh, <laughs> they probably will do one day. Um, but at the moment I just 
you know, get recognised in quite random places, but it's all good. Love it. Someone I passed today moored up on his boat. He said, oh, it's not 1pm. Because he knew I was live streaming at that time. <laughs> I said, oh, sorry, dude. You know, it's just how it is. You can't uh, make everyone happy. Can you? So, but it was nice to see him. Um, with a nice collection of logs on top of his roof. I'm always envious of boaters who, who've got a good stash of logs on the roof. I'm running quite low on that. I'm low on coal as well. Coal's a nightmare to get a bit hold of at the moment for me. But I'm sure if I move more miles in the day, it'll come easy, easier. Question here from Paul, he says, do any of the GPS apps or such offer the canals to any degree of accuracy to follow along as you go? Well, yeah, there's a one called Open Canal Map, which is pretty good. Picture quality is getting slightly better, but uh, yeah, if you're watching this back, you'll probably be able to just skip forward right into the <laughs> very clear stuff. <laughs> but you'll miss out on all this live glory you know, that we're all experiencing right now. All the likes, I really appreciate that, that you're coming in. I never asked for it. Never, never asked for it. Never asked for anyone to subscribe. I don't see the point of that, but I do appreciate it very much. Um, moderator Al, Al Wobbly Boater, has just said Nebo app. That's another one. I see the position of boats. That's quite exciting. Um, his and uh, many others will put the location of their boats on, on that so you can track them. And I don't think I'd like to do that. <laughs> Because <laughs> I quite like my peace and quiet, you know what I mean? I, I don't want not people knocking on the windows all, all, all hours of the day. It's very nice to meet people as I, I travel around, but we all like our privacy, don't we? Even uh, supposedly extrovert YouTubers like myself. I'm more of an introvert, really. I've worked it out. <laughs> Question here from Stuart, what's the cost of diesel in the last few days on the cut? I have no idea Stuart because I have not passed anywhere that sells it, but I've got to give a massive shout out to Marina and Rich at Clayworth Boat Club if they're watching or are watching it back because they did supply me a, um, was it 25 litre drum of it, uh, well white diesel actually so even more generous, appreciate that. Because I was running pretty low. My tank's about, I don't know, 20%. That's enough to see me down downstream or upstream, brother. Have you ever been to the Badger at Church Minchel? No, I don't think I have. But I might have been, my memory's terrible. When's the next time you're taking the boat out for blacking? Is another question. And another couple of years, I think, yeah. Oof, my legs are, I've just been sat on the side of the boat, my legs were starting to go to sleep. Just come up to a clump of reeds that's become detached from the, the side, but it's no problem, we just go past it. <laughs> But if you go too fast on the canal, this is what happens. It starts ripping out the vegetation that has started growing at the side. In an ideal world, the canal would be as it was when they made it, but, you know, without any of this sort of stuff. But it's, you know, you could argue it's 
much nicer for wildlife with all that. But then that causes a problem for maintenance, wildlife. You know, the Canal and River Trust can't do certain jobs um, because of nesting, birds nesting, all that sort of stuff. Right, question from Tanner, what's coming up? Well, the next thing we'll encounter is a lock. Gringely lock. Gringely top lock. I think that's how you say it, it might be Gringly. But uh, I'll try and show you the map if I can. Oh. So, um, hopefully you can see if it's good enough quality, but the next lock is Gringly. Grinsley top lock 61. Definitely recommend if you've not heard it. Very funny. Question here from Mr. Pastry. <laughs> Did the ducks enjoy the vegetable peelings that I chucked out the window last night? Um, probably not, because they're all addicted to crap. Or, or, you know, red. That's their crap. So anything else, so I don't know, I might just see that. But it was all gone. I didn't see anything floating around, so who knows who had it. <laughs> Emma says, next time you come to a lock, can I look after your boat, please? Yes, I hope if you're watching at home, that's it, you. Um, hopefully you'll stay with me on the boat, stay on the boat while I go and open the lock, that'll be really handy, very help helpful. Make sure no one uh, steals it, make sure it doesn't float away, be great, thank you. Another question, do I hibernate in winter? I think every boater hibernates a, bit, a little bit, uh, and yeah, some winters, like last winter I was just moored up at Stanley Ferry for ages, and I went to a marina to sort the inside of my boat out. Uh, marina. It was more of a, like a nice little secluded boatyard, really. I've got a video of all about it, so not seen that one. Go to the video. It says I made some new narrowboat furniture out of pub tables. It's that video. And there's also a lot of flooding in winter, so sometimes you just can't. And, and winter works, you know, when they fix the locks and stuff, stoppages. So you're often stuck anyway. You can't move. I still like to be fairly sociable. McRambo says, does it cost a lot to stay in a marina? Uh, it depends if you're living there or not. It really does. The, the, the prices I've heard recently is like something like £800 for a year, as opposed to maybe in London you're paying six, seven, eight thousand pounds a year. But that would be for a, a liverboard mooring, perhaps, not just to keep it there. I don't know. I'm not really up to date on the higher end of the prices. <laughs> so I'm just laughing at some of the comments that are coming through. Brilliant. Everyone's a comedian on the comedian on the internet nowadays, aren't they? I used to want to be a comedian, but now I've long since given that up. <laughs> Question here: Have you ever been on the Stort or Lee River in your boat? I have. I have indeed. It was. Uh, one of the first little missions I did before starting to YouTube. Um, went from the Kennet and Avon on the Thames, Oxford, uh, down the Con Grand Union Canal into London, and then spent the winter exploring the River Lee and the River Store, and it was absolutely amazing. I recommend it to anyone, because it's just a lot more peaceful after being in London with so many other boats, it's just a lot more peaceful. and. You really feel like you're exploring uncharted ter territory because no one else is really moving about in the winter. But there are 
issues with flooding, you've got to watch out. Some bridges you can't get underneath because the uh, water comes up so high. Question from Matt Allen. All right, Matt is a uh, Cranker crew member, very supportive. Has your time for making music increased heading into winter? Also, really want you and the pirate boat to make tunes together. She said she's up for it. I would be up for it too. I think Heidi is amazing. Heidi from the Pirate Boats, the YouTube channel, Narrowboat Pirate, sorry. Um, she's really inspirational as a DJ. She knows a lot more than me because she's, you know, she's been gigging for so long and. I'm relatively new to it all, but um, music making, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if we could make something together. And at the moment I'm not really making a lot of music because I'm so busy moving the boat and filming and doing all the other life stuff that everyone else has to do anyway. I've got another question has been asked, do, have I heard of Danny and Joe Narrowboat channel? I think I have. It, it's, my YouTube feed might look a little bit different to you. It's definitely going to look different to anyone's. Of course it is. We all watch different stuff. But I, you know, I just generally watch music videos like, you know, metal bands and stuff about computer games and technology like the, the latest iPhone and action cameras and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, quite, quite boring really. But, um, yeah, music. I watch a lot more music on um, people like Rick Beato and Justin Hawkins from The Darkness. He's got some great vlogs where he just picks out songs and just uh, works out how what key they're in and all that sort of stuff that I could never do. I think it's brilliant. Um, but yeah, in terms of narrowboat vlogs, I don't watch. I'm going to say, I'm just going to generally sweeping statement. I, I don't really watch any of them, so... It's, it's just personal preference, isn't it? But I'm so grateful that everyone's doing these videos because it, it, it helps me, doesn't it? You know, and I can hopefully help them. Spread the love, man. Another question from Mon this is from Monty Finch. Would you do a short vlog on filming equipment and how you edit? I have already done that, actually. If you want to go back to my videos, there's some stuff I made in 2020. I want to say, during the first lockdown. And it was all about how to vlog with what you've got. That was my title for that series of videos. There was at least three. And one was all about sound. One was all about, you know, just what, you know, using smartphones and even iPads, you know, what you can just make and do with what you've, what you've got. Because I've grown up with no money, no, ca no camera in the family. We just, nick, me and my brothers used to nick one from school. Just like bor borrow it for as long as they let us, as long as we get away with. And make stupid little stop animation videos and yeah, all kinds of silly Alan Partridge inspired sketches. So yeah, you know. The content is there, guys. Just got to search back for the videos.
question from Tanner. She says, what's over the hedges? Shall I, sh shall I show you? See how, our, well, we can't really see much because there is just a hedge. <laughs> but I wonder if I can lift you up. Like the, uh, the song. Uh, what can you say? Anything? You're welcome. I mean, that's uh, the advantage is you're so t much taller than me. Oh, this is how high you can get. Look at that. Oh, it's probably a view you've not seen before on my videos. To anyone else watching me do this, lifting the camera up high above my head, it's a bit like that film with John Cusack in it where he lifts the, uh, the boom box. Of, over his head, that famous scene. On the right here, there's not really that much we can see, it's just all trees. But yeah, let's get you back. Back down on it. Get down on it. Mm -hmm. There we I'd love to get the drone involved in this live stream. Can you imagine that? How cool would that be? It would suddenly just cut to the drone. I mean, that would be the dream, but there's no chance. I suppose you could probably live stream from a drone, but it would be just that. I don't know. I think if you had, if I had someone else, sort of. Um, who knew how to do all this stuff, like maybe like cruising the cut, he's quite good at live feeds and all that sort of stuff, having worked and also done it on YouTube in that regard. Um, yeah, I suppose it could be possible, couldn't it? But beyond me at the moment, I'm trying to keep things simple. <laughs> comments coming in, um, even a text from my dad actually saying uh, that the picture looks good. Finally we've got some good signal, so I'm relieved at that because we are coming to a really beautiful part of the Chesterfield Canal that I've never been able to share with you before, so this is great. And the weather today is just absolutely perfect. There's no wind, the temperature is about, what is it, 12? Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but um, yeah, it's yeah, it's lush. We're very lucky. Oh, apparently, just as I've said that, <laughs> I'm just seeing from the comments that are coming in, uh, the quality has just dipped again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to shut up about the quality of the picture. great to have all the feedback as I'm doing these live streams. Obviously normally I'd have um, put out a YouTube video and then uh, someone, loads of comments will come in saying, oh you've made a mistake. <laughs> you know, that, like one, a video I made about Gull, people saying, no that's, that place isn't in, isn't in Amsterdam, it's in Belgium, you, you idiot. No, I didn't say that, they were, they were relatively kind. Yeah, now I can see live where I'm going wrong, which is great.
I've got a question here saying, are you headed towards Knox? I'm already in, um, I'm in Nottingham right like now, I think, am I? I can't remember, but yeah, I'm, I'm headed south, so... Uh, which is up river, up the river Trent. <laughs> see the comments saying, I like coal. I like coal? Well, I don't know if we've got any corn. We've got some beautiful rolling hills here. All the corn's been taken by small boys. <laughs> been picked. I don't know what they would have had in that field. Just been asked about the quality that I've set the live stream to. I haven't set it to anything, it's on automatic and it's 720p, I think is the. I'll, I'll look into it tomorrow and see if I can anything to do to improve it, but I don't know. Probably, probably can, probably can't, I don't know. Lots of people ask me, could I get a drone following me? You know, just set the drone up so it automatically follows along with me. Um, and I can't do that, it's not... I'd lose my license. The CAA, Civil Aviation Authority, they look down upon that. And um, yeah, as I, as I do work with the BBC, <laughs> I've got to do things slightly by the book, I don't know, so I'm uh, get in trouble. But also, trying to control a drone whilst you're also controlling a boat is, is just, that's multitasking that I don't want to have to deal with. It was enough um, chatting your way to you whilst cooking on the previous live stream, that was enough for me. <laughs> that I made it through. here will you be getting more solar panels or is what you have sufficient well I had me electrician mate over the other day um, Ed in four counties um, he's brilliant Ed Shires which he is I can't remember how he says it is uh, anyway he, he was he came around and I said to him is it worth me getting a nice sort of lithium install you know is it worth me spending out for all that sort of stuff and he said no it's not because you, your boat is very simple you don't need power really. I mean it might in the winter but the batteries that you've got, they're like the deep cycle lead um, open batteries. I don't mean they're open, they're just they've got um, caps you can um, open to fill with, with the deionized de water, whatever. Anyway, uh, what I've got is, is simple and that's what you want to do, you want to keep it simple and I, I totally agree with him. And also it's just why would I want to spend so much money on stuff I don't really need? I've already got a truck that, uh... <laughs> oh well, the truck's not with me at the moment. It's with my parents. They're looking after it for me. And my brother Charlie's looking after it as well. And I do miss it a lot, but uh, I don't miss, you know, moving the boat and then having to walk or get a uh, bus back to um, pick it up again. It's of course quite difficult, isn't it? Especially after a long day filming on BBC stuff. The sound of me just reversing slightly so I can shake off anything that's on my propeller. A fair amount of weed. I don't need to show you that because uh, <laughs> I've done enough filming of, of weed. So having said that, now I'm going to be forced to go down the weed hatch live. Oh, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Live propeller disentanglement. But look at this scenery, it's just gorgeous on that.
question I've been asked, are you in much trouble with leaves? Uh, not really, not at the moment, There's not too many. Yeah, because I'm suddenly get stuck around the fella. Have I had to pass other moving boats is another question. I've passed um, one today. That, even that was a surprise, I almost crashed into the person. I'm sorry if, <laughs> sorry if you're watching. <laughs> It was, it was moments before setting up for this live stream. <laughs> Sometimes what I do in terms of filming, it does detract or distract, yeah, distract from cruising, you know, properly. You know, I concentrate on what you're doing. What you're supposed to be doing. Question I've just been asked. What's my plan when I reach my destination? I don't know, you know. Um, a bit of tidying up to live inside, um, got to eat some food, pick up some shopping, I don't know, you know, I just I don't like to plan that far ahead, alright? <laughs> yeah, so today I'm hoping to get to the end of the Chesterfield Canal. And um, battery on my phone will probably run out before then, or, or, well, I could charge it up actually, yeah, could keep it charged, let's do that now, that's my uh, cable, I can plug that in from my, my batteries that I'm charging via the engine, god, so organised, I can't believe it, but I'm not going to run these live streams there all day long am I so just for a little bit until I run out of steam mentally and physically <laughs> question I get asked a lot this is from Verity she says do you know have any idea when the next series will be out I don't have any idea I'm sorry because I don't work for um, BBC4, which is the channel that decides when it's on, for let's say six months, shall we? Maybe about that. I've been asked by Jackie Maidley, uh, am I seeing reports of dead swans and geese? No, I'm not, so I didn't know about that, from avian flu, no, no idea, sorry. I've also been asked, will the price of diesel hinder your travelling? No, because I'm just stinking rich, so I can afford it. So, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just... Uh, I, I'm, I don't have to fill up so often, you see. So it's, this engine just chugs along, doesn't it? It doesn't use that much. But yeah, the next time I fill up, it is going to be different than in November last year. So it's, it's been a year since I filled the tank. That's good going, isn't it? The tank's about 225 litres, I think. Yeah, that's what I filmed, uh, filled it up. So, 225 litres. Uh, how many miles have I done since last year? No idea. I can't. It was from Ripon down to Calder and Hevel Canal, Murfield, turned around at Murfield, all the way back again. To Ghoul, went from Ghoul to Pocklington, Pocklington, end of the navigation, back down again, back down to Ghoul again, went to Doncaster, went to back to Selby, along the River Air again, back from Selby along the River Air onto the, the canal at Nottingley, and then back to Doncaster again, and then onto Sheffield, and that's where we started filming Series 4, the Canal Book Diaries, which will, yes, it, could take about six months to actually be broadcast. You just don't know. I have no idea. I, I know about it about a month before it actually happens. And at the moment, Canal Boat Diaries is on BBC One being repeated. So you'll see it on iPlayer if you've not seen, let's say, Series Two. That is out next week, being broadcast again, repeated, which means they re-upload it to iPlayer. But I don't even know about that until it happen sometimes, you know, 
I just have to keep an eye out on the Canal Boat Diaries webpage on, on the iPlayer. Which is always, it's just, uh, when I have a look at that, I just think, wow, that's amazing that I've come that far. Anyway, whatever. Um, we're, what we're expecting now is a lock. We haven't seen it. We've been going really slowly. But very soon we should hopefully come across it. But I'm enjoying this. It's nice, isn't it? Just chilling out. Chatting with you lot. Chatting with you at home. Or wherever you are. Maybe you're skiving off work. I don't know. <laughs> or just watching it back in the evening. Hello to you. And a massive shout out again to all the Crank It crew who have been so supportive and stuck with me despite me not being able to um, stay in touch so much. If you're watching this back, you might be interested to know that as I'm filming this, I've got 319 people watching, 183 likes. Brilliant. Great. Do I know what temperature it is now? I've just been asked. Um, current temperature, I have to hazard a guess, about 12 degrees. There's no wind chill at all, so it's lovely. I'm, I'm loving it. Craig has just asked me, do you have any Yeovil Town memorabilia on the lass, on the naughty lass on my boat? Um, I don't, shockingly I don't. But I've been, I've just been so cross with that team. <laughs> I don't know, if you've ever been a football fan and your team isn't doing very well, it's just it's so hard to support them. But you need, to, you need to, they need your support more than ever, don't they? But being that they are in the Panorama National League, they don't make it easy because you, I, you know, I can't watch it on the TV. And although I'm signed up on Twitter and all, the, all their accounts and stuff, it's just difficult to follow. And at the moment, I'm sort of more interested in Premier League football because, yeah, just I like um, fantasy league. I've got a fantasy league team called Robbie's Rangers. <laughs> cooked a stew yesterday and Joe just asked me, was my stew tasty? It was. But it could be even tastier today actually. So I've kept some aside. Um, I just need to get it out of the fridge, stick it in a pot and warm it up again. I've also been asked about the plum porter that I used cooking. Um, and maybe, yeah, maybe I had a little bit of it as well. You know, maybe I drank a tiny bit. Hey, eh? what are you going to do about it? Uh, <laughs> but it wasn't as good as the one I had from Staffordshire. I can't remember what the oh, it's Titanic Brewery. Their plum porter is still the best. gets me into a lot of trouble if I drink too much of it. <laughs> I try not to drink so much these days, because um, nah, I've just got too much to do. I'm not on holiday, am I? But when, I, when I'm on holiday, maybe I will have a drink. So if you've just joined us, where have you been? Uh, but hello. <laughs> hello there. Um, I like this, you can just drop in and out, can't you? That's great. Um, uh, hopefully it's about to come for a, uh, up to a lock, so you'll see a bit of ac action in a minute. But for now, we're just cruising along the Chesterfield Canal, heading towards West Stockworth, which is where it meets the River Trent, the tidal River Trent.
Peter's just asked me, are you headed to Yorkshire? No, I am not, sadly. Um, so I'm leaving Yorkshire behind. Because, well, the work is down south. Like where we're filming, the locations we're filming. In. Hello! <laughs> the dog is barking at me. Um, but yeah, the work's down south, so that's where I'm going. Hello! Will the next series of Canal Boat Diaries be longer? Um, don't think so. <laughs> I'd like it to be. Obs, you know, I'd get more money, wouldn't I? <laughs> but no, it's uh, let's stick it to half hour because that's sort of that's all the budget they've got. It's a beloved show, lots of people love it, and I'm so appreciative of that, but it is a small show. It's a tiny little jewel in the crown. Uh, so it's, it's just nice to be able to do what we're doing. It's great, getting away with it. <laughs> so yeah, four episodes, 30 minutes each, that's the next series, as it stands. Things change. Someone's just, uh, Ronald just asked me, or suggested that I should open my page to super likes. Um, another one person just said, will I be doing more live streams? And I will, I will be doing them, yeah, just watch out on my social, socials uh, to see, <laughs> to see uh, when I'll be doing them. It's generally 1pm every day at the moment, might not be tomorrow. But yeah, so super likes, that's um, super chat. On, it's a way of earning money through live streams on YouTube. But I'm not, I'm not about that, you know what I mean? It's, uh, I don't do this for the money, but I just do it for the just stay in touch with you all, but, um, and uh, to make sure I don't forget about me. But also, super chat, you know when you pay, have your name highlighted, you might have seen it, you might not, so you, so you pay money to, the, to whoever's streaming, and your comment gets highlighted. That's quite cool, isn't it? But, 30% of that money, the last time I checked anyway, goes straight to Google. And that's the part that I'm not particularly fond of either, just making money for Google. So yeah, Russell just commented, YouTube take 30% of Super Chats. So that's not just me saying that, Russell's on it as well. <laughs> and it could be more than that, we don't know. So the question here, did you start your adventures on the canals with a hire boat? And if so, how old were you when you started? So I can't answer that second part of the question because I didn't start on a hire boat. I started out on a friend's boat. Um, uh, she lent it to me because she was living on another one with a boyfriend and she wanted to sell her previous one. So I, I just lived on it until it got sold. So I got away, and I got away with three months rent free in London, which was just the best. I was trying to get a job, trying to hold down a relationship. Neither of those things worked, but the, the boat life, that was it. I was like, I know what I want to do now. This is what I want to do. And it took me two years to find the naughty lass, but uh, got there in the end. <clears throat> it wasn't just finding the boat as well, it was uh, finding the, the finances, getting the cash together, isn't it? Borrowing money off members of the family. Shout out Auntie Francis. Amazing woman. Francis, you're watching. Hello. <laughs> but also, yeah, banks don't really want to lend you money to get a boat, do they? They don't like that. Unless you've already got loads of money anyway. They don't enjoy lending you money for something you're going to live on. But they need to secure it against, ideally, a house, in their, in their view something that they think is more valuable. So if you are going to get a loan from the bank for a boat, don't tell them you're going to live on it. 
Question, did you ever watch that canal programme with Timothy West and Prunella Scales? Yeah, I did. I, you know, I, I watch most canal stuff. Um, some of it I hate watch, like uh, Celebrity Go Barges. <laughs> or, you know, anything where they just they, they go through one lock and then the rest of the flight of locks, they just go, all right, now we're going to take a taxi to the nearest National Trust property or something like that. So, what? What are you doing? You know, Boating is difficult. Just get on with it, though, because the, the reward is you've had a, you've been through a load of locks, and you're just like, wow, well, you know, blooming hell, I've, I've made it, you know. It's a feeling of satisfaction. It's not. Well, I don't, I've never treated it as a holiday, because it's never been a holiday for me. It's been a life lifestyle, you know? and that's my, that's my work a lot of the time as well. Anyway, yeah, I do watch a lot of TV. Um, programs about the canals. But enough about TV, enough about all that. We're about to come up to a lock, which is my favourite canal based structure, if you know, if you know me, you know my content. You know I love a bloody love going through a lock. I'm not so keen on swing bridges. <laughs> Right, so as I approach, I'm just saying to, if, if you're watching this live right now, I won't be able to respond to any comments. So if you want to save them to when I'm back behind the camera where I can see them. So as soon as you see me in front of the camera, that's where I can, I can't see what you're saying. So you can swear at me, you can criticise my technique, do whatever you like, I won't see it. The last chance for a question is in the next two minutes, if you're watching live. I'm going to moor up next to a little cottage here. I can see already, you won't be able to see this, this is quite far away, but and your eyesight's terrible. Well, <laughs> the quality of the stream is not the best. But um, yeah, one of the paddles is broken. So I'll be mooring up and then walking across the gate over to the side to um, let in the water from there, if it's empty. If it's full, all I have to do is open those gates. It's simple. We've got a question here from Michael. Have you ever travelled down the Kennet and Avon Canal? Yes, I have. It was the one I started out on. There we go. I just didn't want to film it because I was, uh, yeah, I was getting used to the boat. I didn't want to film <laughs> the crashing into locks because I hadn't got any uh, oil in my gearbox. True story. 
for a lot of the stories I have from my first year, I am planning to put them in a book. That is the current plan. Stay, you know, stay tuned for that. I don't know when I'll write it. Right, here we are. I'm going to get in front of the camera now. So you'll see me tying up, grabbing a windlass and going at it. <laughs> But you'll be able to hear me because I've got my mic with me. A little Bluetooth friend. <laughs> Thought I'd go for a change in outfit today. Um, wearing brown boots instead of black ones. can stop boats quickly but um tends to make them go like that so that's not going to be fun for you sitting on my roof and looking after it while I go and open this lock thank you very much oh it would help if I grabbed one of the windlasses on the roof Still need to open locks with a key, and not just a lock key like the windlass. I've got to use um, I'm a British Waterways or River Trust facilities key. The same one that opens all the water points can open these. That's the sound of it opening. <laughs> so I know you can't really see what I'm doing. So I'll try and narrate some of it, but you can hear. You can hear what's going on. Actually, I shouldn't really open the lock until I've checked to see if anyone else has come in. Even though this is a canal where I've only seen one boat move today, I, you know, no idea, and it's good to save water, so just check to see if anyone's come in. Can't see any, anyone or hear anyone, so it's all good. But that would be embarrassing, wouldn't it, if I'd filled all the lock up and they were just there waiting. It's not a good feeling. All right, carry on opening the sluice. I'll paddle. I'm just going to look for some firewood while I'm here. Sometimes it washes off. Or, you know, it it um, collects at the side of locks. And if it's sort of like driftwood type stuff, it's really good. It just somehow seems to be really dry. Burns really easily. And hotter as well. So if you've just joined this live stream, or just watching it back at this point, I'm in the bushes by the side of this lock. 
<laughs> Looking for firewood. <laughs> and there's plenty of it actually, so I might take a few sticks. And I'll put them alongside the lock so that when a boat, my boat comes in, I can pick them up. Lock still filling up the water, but it was completely empty. I know you can't see me, but you'll see what I've got in a minute. Got a few branches with me. I can cut up and use this firewood. Whee! But yeah, thanks for looking after the boat. Oh, you didn't tell me though. The um head light, the navigation light's still on. <laughs> That's a classic, you go for a tunnel, put a tunnel light on and then you just forget, especially if you're live streaming and worrying that you've actually got the right signal. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? Hello you. Do you want to say hello to people on YouTube? No? Gorgeous. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> At least you've got a drier day today. Yeah, well you'll be glad of that. Oh, Wet yeah. dogs are always an issue, aren't they? <laughs> See, I know the reality of having a dog. Wet dog smell and clearing up poops. Alright, the light is off. So, yeah, again, I can't read any of the comments, so I hope you're having a good old chat amongst yourself. This is quite good, isn't it? You sort of uh, can all have a little forum. Sort of chat with each other. Have to wait. Hopefully, it's not important. But you know, these days when you're working, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? Because uh, you want to get the job done, but because we're all so much more connected, aren't we? You know, we've all, we've all got a mobile phone on us at all times, so that we can be contacted at any time, and it's 
God, he struggled to get the important work done. And this is important work. Right, the water's almost level now. Let's see if I can give this gate a shove with my backside. Yes. Oh. Oh, that is quite a heavy gate. It's not windy today, so I reckon I'm taking my chances getting in with just one gate open. Sometimes they open anyway when you're coming in. So you still got to close too. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. I think the live stream cut out for some reason. I, I got a phone call. I didn't answer it, but I heard it going. It's working again now, but also I'm running out of battery. So there may not be a good buy on this, okay? So it may just cut out and that's it. We'll just go again tomorrow. So we're just going to go as far as the battery on my phone will, will last. I've got a cable attached to it, but doesn't seem to be doing doing much oh, I've got the right hand side where my bits of wood are that I've been collecting I don't know if you saw that might not have done if it's a bit froze Arthur and Karen say is it like is doing these live streams like having someone on board well Sort of, yeah, it is, and it's lovely to have your company. You know, just to... Otherwise, I would just normally be chatting away to myself anyway, so uh, it's good that someone's listening. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if you do this. I do this all the bloody time. I say, Robbie, stop talking to yourself. And I say it out loud. Is that mental? Is that a bit, a bit weird, isn't it? But uh, yeah, it's my life. Uh. I'm just going to take you off the roof so you can see what's going on. See the boat go down in the lock. Just uh, loosely. Wrap it around there. I'm going to show you my little logs that I've found. Not logs. Oh, I can't take it off the roof, can I? Okay, yeah, because we're still plugged in. 
So I'll just leave you there. Sorry about that. I don't have an extra battery pack. Now I'm going to try just going over the bridge there. Uh, okay, let's get these, these sticks and shut the gates as well. Just as I expected, the gate that I've come through, the other one's just opened on its own. <laughs> I'll turn you around so you can see. So I'm just walking along the gates that you can't see the lower gates we're going down we're down through this lock oh. this is lock 61 gringley lock or gringley lock i really need to know how to pronounce that Out. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but you will be seeing it in a minute. And you'll be able to see the gates at the back, which is quite a cool view, seeing when the, you know, you go down in the lock, you can see, get a real perspective of going, dropping down in level. Here we go. Been someone Mark from the CRT just wants to talk chat. Where are you, Mark? Just turn you around so you can see what we're talking about. Uh, sorry about the live stream freezing up. It does it every time the battery gets to like 20% or 10%, you get a little warning that comes up and it completely messes up the uh, live stream. Anyway, I've got to talk to someone from the CRT, he's just trying to tell me something. Oh yeah. You gonna help? Oh, cheers Mark. Thank you, mate. All right. I'm just doing a um, live video, so if, you, if you're alright with that, yeah, that's fine. yeah. <laughs> I've only got 10% battery left now, no, no, so uh, it will probably run out what, by the time we got through this lock. Yeah, no, that's alright mate. Alright then, let's get back on, <laughs> back across this lock again. Yeah, so if I'm talking to myself, yeah, right. I'm not just gone mental. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my little mic, yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. Top bloke Mark, really nice guy. And I've seen him up and down the canal. Stoppage at Stoke. Oh right. A Stoke block. Yeah. I think so. Um, we're. Yeah, but we know we're going to get stuck, you know. 
Filming is going to go into January. Is it? Yeah. All right. There we go. Oh, cheers, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's so good to keep chatting to bank staff and all that because they are full of the knowledge that you need as a boater to uh, move around the network. And sometimes if you can feed back to them something you're not happy about and they will actually help you resolve it. Sometimes. It's not easy for them. They're just, they're not management, are they? They're just doing their job. I was lifting up all the sticks that I've just created. Um, picked up the bushes. <laughs> and don't try this at home, but here we are. Jumping on the roof. And there's all my firewood for the next couple of days. <laughs> yeah, that's doing a bit of work. I'll have to get my little saw out. Yeah, mate, it's lovely, isn't it? I mean, it's hard work when the weeds there, but the rainwater's helped, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> definitely has. Coming up this canal, we didn't have any rain for ages. Oh, and then I got a fair bit of it, and then it was it was noticeably different. Right, almost coming to the end of this end of this stream. The battery's running so low and I can't charge it fast enough to put my batteries on board. So I'm behind the camera now. Still running, that's good. But for how long I don't really know. I'm gonna kick the engine up again and I'll be on my way. And if I don't see you, I'll say goodbye to you in a minute. I'll uh, see you tomorrow anyway. Ooh. Ugh, start the engine. Here we go. Sorry, Mark, what did you say? Did you say you were going to help with the lock or not? Oh, I think, I don't know, yeah, ready now. I can see the gap in the door. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Just want to get through this before the uh, stream ends, if possible. Otherwise you'll think I'll be stuck in this lock forever. <laughs> It's up to Mark there if he wants to open another gate. He might not. It's up to you, mate. Yeah, all right. I don't have to fix them. It's a good example of what I was talking about yesterday. So if too many boats did that, it'd wear against the mitre of the gate. So I always try not to do that, but it's up to um, 
CRT staff if they want to just leave a one open one gate. That's cool. Because they're the ones that have to deal with it essentially. They have to fix it anyway. So I am gonna tie up here and say goodbye to y'all. Say goodbye to you all. Right. Here we go. Hello. Oh no, we're going to crash. Here we go. Hey, you get a narrowboat crash out of it. How, how, how are you liking that? Oh dear. <laughs> Damn it. I try and be so careful and that's what... It's pushed away by the by wash. And that's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. Plus, I haven't had anything to eat, so <laughs> my blood sugar levels are dropping. Ugh. There we go. All done. That's the end of our little trip today, but I'll meet you tomorrow. Could be at 1pm, could be a little bit later, because I'm just thinking I seem to be able to get an hour and a half, and that's about it. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I need to just chat away with the CRT staff. And they'll tell me what I can and cannot do. It's their expertise that I need to get on a tidal river. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate you joining me and looking after my boat while I go for a lock. Sorry, I made it wobble there, didn't I? Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Gotta go.